Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you know what to do. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I am responsible for my own health. I am responsible for my own health. I am responsible for my own health. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. <sighs> Hello, my manifesting mamacitas and my miracle-minded men. Welcome to another episode of Beanie TV, where I am all things God, love, wellness, and life advice. So today I want to talk to you guys about rodeola. <laughs> we go into the rodeo, rodeola, rodeo. So you guys know that I have been on a journey of wellness and all things organic non-gmo and i am not perfect okay because i have the occasional dairy based ice cream i am not perfect but i do know that being someone that is an empath and a highly sensitive person there are certain things that help me to move through this world easier and i have a older video where i talk about my favorite adaptogen ashwagandha what is an adaptogen an adaptogen is an herb that assists you in your physiological being right your physiologicalness <laughs> so basically adaptogens work for work for you with whatever you need work on so you if you are someone that has fatigue if you are someone that has anxiety or stress if you take an adaptogen, it will assist you in managing stressful situations better. It'll assist you in helping you fall asleep naturally. It's all natural, all plants and roots and herbs, and that those are adaptogens. Now, I really like ashwagandha because it helps me, again, it lowers my cortisol levels, it lowers my stress, which induces anxiety. And everyone knows that stress is equal to illness. Stress the the body's reaction to stress is not good at all right like you have to think stress creates inflammation inflammation makes the cells work overtime which means that you are going to end up with a dis-ease dis-ease that you don't want and you don't need so the less stressed you are the less likely you are going to get sick and if you are already stressed then you need to take some adaptogens Okay, I hope I explained that good enough. I'm not an expert. All I am is a human being that is feeling better and doing better than I have in the past few years. And I know that I can see and feel the difference between my life and myself before adaptogens and before, you know, really getting into the wellness. Let's get into rhodiola. Rhodiola. So my girl Fatima. Hey, Fatima. Hey, girl. So my girl Fatima, um recommended rhodiola to me and i was like okay let's go on the rhodiola rodeo so i ordered it from i think i just ordered it from amazon so i got the non-gmo nature's way premium extract standardized rhodiola so rhodiola is a flower that grows in asia north america and somewhere else i forgot so but it's been used for centuries in places like Sweden to lower anxiety, depression, and stress. Um, I decided to do a test like I did with my ashwagandha and I took rhodiola for seven days straight. So first I wanna talk about what rhodiola can do. Rhodiola helps reduce fatigue. It works with your neurotransmitters, allowing you to, re to be calm and to get a good night's sleep. It actually, it helps with stress, it helps with anxiety. Again, it is an adaptogen, so it's going to calm you down. It's actually really, really good for improving exercise performance. I don't know about that because I don't exercise, but it improves exercise performance as well as brain function. And it really, really, there have been studies where it has shown improvement in um, people who have suffered from depression. It works in balancing out the brain and just assisting you in handling depression better. Again, these are studies that have been done. You can definitely Google it on your own. But now let's go into what rhodiola did for me. So when you first take rhodiola, oh my God, the little kitten, me. Sorry, I'm looking out the window. 
when when I first took rhodiola, I instantly felt like I had had like two glasses of wine and I'm a lightweight. So I instantly felt drunk. I instantly felt drunk slash high, but I took it at home. I took it at night. The first time I took it, I took it at night. And I felt like, now you don't feel woozy. I kind of just felt like, okay, I feel something. Something is going on. Okay, I'm feeling kind of good. Okay. You know when you like have a drink and be like, oh my God, I feel good. Like that's how rhodiola feels for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that, I will say just like ashwagandha, I felt very, very calm. I felt very, very calm. And I remember by day three or day four, I was on my computer and I just like was smiling. <laughs> and I wasn't smiling at what I was looking at on the computer at all. I would just felt myself like on the computer like smiling. So by the seventh day, again, I felt, see, and it's like, it's, it, if you take it seven days in a row, it's still running through your blood, running through your veins. So for seven days, I felt peaceful. I felt at ease in my body. I felt easefulness in my body. I even like, you know, I went out in public and I didn't feel like, ugh, you know how sometimes you just feel like, oh my God. Um, I didn't have that many symptoms of anxiety. So do I recommend rhodiola? Yes, I definitely do. But the one thing about adaptogens that I wish more people in the wellness community would talk about is that adaptogens will not fix your thoughts because sometimes our thoughts are our greatest enemy. If I'm taking rhodiola and I feel, or ashwagandha or reishi mushroom and I'm feeling calm and easeful, but my brain is still thinking, I hate myself, I'm fat, like, why are these people looking at me? Why is this happening to me? Then it's, it, it, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because you feel good, but you're not thinking good. So you still have to manage your thoughts on your own. This is not going to fix your thoughts for you. You still have to fix your own thoughts. You still have to go to a therapist. You still have to do your affirmations. You still have to do the work. It, it, adaptogens are about how your body feels and how your body handles stress it has nothing to do with the way that you view yourself the way that you think about yourself what you think you're capable of it's not gonna fix that boo only you can fix that so if you are someone like me who sometimes gets a little ramped up um, in public and you're just like not focused on yourself you're focused on others ashwagandha rhodiola are going to assist you in feeling rooted easeful and grounded. I hope this video encourages you or makes you feel encouraged to go and try ashwagandha. I put ashwagandha in my smoothies. I don't take it in pill form and I buy it from moonjuice.com. Rhodiola, I really like taking it in pill form. I have no idea how it would taste in powder form. I like taking it in pill form. I usually just take, if I'm feeling like, oh, I take it like once a day. Um, I only took it seven days in a row for this video. I haven't done that since. Um, but I would definitely recommend taking it, again, if you deal with anxiety, fatigue, depression, or um, stress. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Be nice. Positive vibes only. Um, and I thank you guys for, you know, putting your wellness first, right? Putting your wellness first and understanding that this life is this world is weird and hard and sometimes terrible but we have been called to this earth to do many things some major things some minor things but we have been called to this earth for a purpose and god knows that this light this world is not easy so god has given us things to make life easier like therapists and rhodiola and ashwagandha and personal trainers and all that good stuff to make us feel better <clears throat> excuse me because that's what it's about right it's about feeling better so let me know if you've taken rhodiola before um yeah let me know if you've taken rhodiola before let me know if you've taken ashwagandha if you haven't go ahead and check out that video that i have on ashwagandha i thank you guys so much what other herb would you like me to try i would love to try out 
what you want me to try out. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.